big crowd sees the first test at Brisbane with Smith and Hunt opening for the West Indies on a perfect wicket. Here's Davidson to Hunt. Played carefully back towards the bowler. Now Victorian Ian Mecca bowls to Kenny Smith. There's a lovely shot back with a square leg. Klein's chasing it, but it's three to Smith and the visitors are on their way to a big score. Davidson to Smith. This time he drives it just wide of the wicket, four all the way. Smith and Kanhai don't last long, but then Sobers, Worrell and Solomon pile on the runs. Davidson to Sobers. He snacks it, but he's not out. He reaches his half century when he square drives Richie Bonneau straight to the fence. The West Indies are three for a hundred, but Sobers and Worrell don't look like getting out. Fourth wicket falls at 2.39. Then Solomon skies one from Meckiff, but there's no one there and he gets two for the shot. Klein to Lashley. Short, hooks it beautifully for four. Klein bowls again. Lashley's caught Brout at 6 for 283. But no to Solomon. Loose one, he lays right into it. No one's going to stop that from hitting the fence. The West Indies are all out for 453, then it's Australia's turn with Wesley Hall bowling to McDonald. McDonald ducked just in time. Sobers to McDonald. A square cut for four that brings up the Australian opener's half century. Neil Harvey's at the other end and not too happy. There's an appeal for LBW, but the umpire says not out. Australia faces a long uphill struggle to catch the visitors' big total. That is until Norm O'Neill starts rattling the pickets with fours like that one. Valentine to O'Neill again. The Sydney batsman has thrashed the bowling. This is the four that brings up his century and congratulations from Davidson. Sobers to Davidson. Oh, a confident appeal for LBW. Once again, the umpire says not out. Norm O'Neill makes 181, and Australia goes on to pass the West Indies in a fighting start to the first test. <laughs>